Happening right now, the fifth day of searching comes to a close. We're learning new information about the investigation into the disappearance of little Quinton Simmons, just 20 months old. Our Andy Cole has been on the story for days now, and he reports on the latest and shares the police radio the morning Quinton was first reported missing. For the first time today, Chatham County Police Chief said there is a possible criminal element to this case. But still, five days in, Quinton is missing. We have a signal. See. You're hearing Chatham County Police Dispatchers on Wednesday morning when Quinton Simmons went missing from his Buckhalter Road home in Savannah. Complain about her one-year-old son is missing. She woke up, her door was open. But as he's unable to open a door, I think someone came in and took him. Fast forward five days to Monday. Everybody is being looked at. Everybody is being interviewed. For the first time since 20-month-old Quentin Simmons disappeared last week. <laughs> Chatham County's police chief yeah, says there may be a criminal element question. to the investigation. Um, you know, we're looking at it from multiple fronts and, and one of it being a criminal uh, investigation as well as, you know, uh, a missing child at this point. We don't have anything confirmed, so we can't say anything uh, absolutely. On Monday, local law enforcement and federal agents researched the home where Quinton was last seen on Buckhalter Road. That included a sweep of the home. Police tarped up one of the windows early in the day and later took the obstruction down. Fire officials were on scene Monday as well. They used their fire hoses to drain the once full but murky backyard pool. Chief Hadley told reporters that dozens of FBI agents are here in Chatham County, desperately searching for Quentin. They are here in a, in a support role, and I can't thank them enough. Uh, you don't bring 40 people, um, and some from all over the country, um, without a, an enormous amount of effort and expense. Also Monday, Chatham County denied an open records request filed by WJCL 22 News for the initial 911 call from Leilani Simmons, Quinton's mom, made the day of his disappearance. They say they are not releasing the call right now because it is part of a, quote, ongoing law enforcement investigation. Chief Hadley told reporters at his press conference today that he expects, with the FBI's help, to continue searching for Quinton through the end of the week. In Savannah, I'm Andy Cole.